Most road bikes have both braking and shifting integrated into the one lever. On Shimano systems, the large brake lever also shifts inwards to change the gears. On the right hand side, it changes the rear derailleur and shifts down to make it easier to climb hills. Just above and behind the brake lever is a smaller lever that's used to shift up gears or allow you to ride faster. Shift it inwards to shift up. On the left hand side, this is reversed. You shift the brake in towards the bike to make it harder to pedal so you can go faster and then shift the smaller lever inwards to make it easier. On beginner and intermediate bikes, there is a gear indicator on top of the shifters to let you know which gear you are in. It is important never to cross chain. What this means is that you should never have the chain in the small gear at the front and the small gear at the rear, or likewise have the chain in the large gear at the front and large gear at the rear. It's best to try to have the chain parallel as possible to the bike frame at all times. To do this, shift halfway across the rear cassette, then shift the front derailleur, then continue shifting the rest of the rear cassette. It is important to note you should never change both the front and rear gears at the same time. This tends to lead to chains coming off the gears entirely. Remember to have some mechanical sympathy and never change under load. For example, change gears before you get to an uphill, rather when you are struggling in a high gear mid-climb. You will save your bike and yourself a lot of maintenance. With derailleur bikes like this, it's worth remembering to change down gears before you come to a stop. It makes starting again that much easier. Go on, get out there. It all becomes second nature with a bit of practice. If you have any questions about shifting or anything else, please contact us at Bicycles Online.